All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about search engine optimization, that is SEO, and how you can get that set up on your Ustream storefront. First and foremost, our main goal here is to make it so that when someone searches your store name on say Google or Bing, uh, they find your Ustream storefront. So in this example, I have the bread life, and I would love it if someone searched that term and then found this site, you know, ultimately found my subscriptions and made a purchase. This should be the easiest thing to do here. Uh, most brand names are pretty unique, uh, in which case getting you to rank to the top of the search results should be doable. Now, if you have a brand name that's very similar to another brand or even the same as another brand, you're ultimately going to be competing against them for that space. And so that can be a little difficult. Um, if you're not competing at all, you, this can still take, you know, weeks to months. Google kind of moves at their own pace for these things. And it's really not an exact science, in which case we can predict super accurately when it's going to happen and how they're gonna display that result as well. Uh, the other thing we wanna do here is make it so that when someone searches a term related to the type of content you're offering, that Google can ideally display your site, maybe some videos, a particular category, or some authors, all from your different Uscreen pages. Now this can be the really difficult one, especially if you're trying to break into a search term that's you know very established, something like online yoga. Super common, there's a lot of businesses out there doing that. You're going to be competing against some very big brands here that have been around for a long time, have a lot of video content, and again, have a lot of viewers, in which case Google's already determined that those sites are pretty good uh, sites to display for those particular search results. But all we can really do here is to you know follow the best practices and kind of hope for the best. So let me get started kind of showing you where we want to uh, begin with this. Let's head to customization, and the first page we want to actually look at is your main homepage. So right over here in the block uh, builder area here, we'll click on SEO settings. And this is where you can add a page title. This should be blank by default, so make sure you add something here. This is what basically Google's gonna display when someone searches your brand name. And please note that we actually append uh, your store name at the end of this automatically. So you don't really need to put your store name into these titles, otherwise it's gonna kind of show like a duplication there. We'll always add this here. That's pretty common um, for most uh, for most uh, companies out there. They they basically put a title that describes what what they are, and then they'll have their brand name at the end. So we'll do that part automatically for you. And then description. This is just describing what your site's about. You're trying to draw people in. Um, you know, you're being a little clickbaity in a way. You want to make sure that if someone saw that search result, they're like, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I want to click that. Um, in the case of your main kind of homepage, uh, we do keep it pretty simple here. I just kind of say what my site's about and then have a, a title of what it, what it does, what it's for, I should say. All right, so let's go back here. We'll then go to customize and then common pages customization. And this one is actually for the catalog. So we want to rank that catalog as well. And so if someone searched my brand name plus like videos, so they searched the bread life videos I would hope that this you know, catalog SEO title here would do the trick and Google would say, okay, that, that looks like a good search result. And again, remember, we'll append that title of your store name in here automatically, so don't add that. Okay, and then the next thing we want to cover here is content. So under content, we have videos, live events, collections, categories, and authors. All of these have their own SEO settings that can be set. So we'll start with videos here. We'll go to edit and then we'll go to SEO. So make sure you're adding something here. Basically, there are reasons um, why you might have an SEO title that's different than the video title. In this section here, this is what appears directly on the catalog, but there's definitely scenarios where maybe what people are searching on Google um, is, is kind of what you wanna add. So I would let me actually use a different video as an example here. So this is good, this is a good video title. Uh, video titles, sourdough starter maintenance, but maybe on Google, I want to put it as a question. So how to maintain your sourdough starter. So something like that's um, maybe a better Google search term because people are more likely to search in the form of a question on Google. Uh, and just so you know here, and I should have done this when I showed you, you wanna make sure that all your titles are capitalized. It's just, it's just kind of a weird quirk of how Google likes to have these. They, they look better and people are more likely to click them uh, when you have those all capitalized in your SEO title. 
And then the other thing here that kind of tells Google what your site is about a bit more is this URL handle. So I could all, I would probably retype this how to maintain. And because you can't have spaces, you have to put those little dashes in there and you can just put the full title in there as you like. And then description, same thing. Uh, just, you know, you're kind of making it a bit clickbaity, but you want people to be able to click this video and find it really easily. All right. So then let's go to live events. I'm going to say this is going to be almost the exact same. You got a title a description for the video inside, or sorry, I should say the live event inside the catalog, but then you can choose to change the SEO here as well. All right. And then collections again, title description for the catalog, uh, but also SEO can be different for these ones. Typically you want something, you kind of want to mention that this is a collection of videos just to maybe better describe what it is just for um, Google search results. And then category. So on your catalog here, each of these categories can be clicked and these can actually have their own description and rank accordingly on Google. This is pretty useful if maybe you are doing yoga and you have a bunch of different types of yoga. So you have your different categories, one for each type. And then if someone searches that specific term, they're more likely to find the category search result uh, because it's more specific. It's very, it's much more narrower, right? And kind of, as we mentioned, the narrower the search term, the more likely you are to actually be able to rank there on Google. Uh, and then finally authors. So for my website here, I have the bread life, but pretend I am kind of more well known in the baking world. Someone might be out there searching my name. They might find, you know, my Instagram, stuff like that, but they could also find my author profile here, in which case it's going to lead them to my site, show a bunch of videos that I've created. Uh, and same thing, this is really good because we, that person could eventually upgrade and make a purchase, make a subscription, that kind of thing. So put your name here in the SEO title, um, URL handle, you just put your name really, and then describe yourself in a kind of a Google search friendly way there. Okay. And then the other place we want to uh, cover here is actually, we're going to go back to customization and then we're going to go to pages here. And so if you're creating these additional pages, uh, you can actually edit the SEO settings here under advanced and it's exactly how we saw it in all the other features here, page title, description, and then page URL, and just write that out with those dashes if you have need for spaces. And then our last kind of place in use screen that we want to go over here is under marketing and then landing pages. And so with a landing page, as you start creating these, and uh, this is kind of a newer feature, so some of you might not be totally familiar with it. Uh, as you start creating these pages here, you're going to have the settings here in the top right. And you have their page name, again, the page URL and the SEO description. So that's kind of basically all the different places in use screen that you can set those SEO settings. And don't be afraid to change these over time. If you find something uh, isn't quite working after a couple months, you can always change the page title. You can test out new ones. Um, but lastly here, I want to show you one more thing that's kind of the key to all of this, and that is webmaster tools. So uh, different search engines out there like Bing uh, will all have their own webmaster tools. I'll just show you Google uh, search console here. But if you just search webmaster tools, it should be the first result here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And typically when you get in here for the first time, it's going to say, okay, Hey, what's your website that you actually want to track? So I had to type in the bread life. And then it's actually, it asked me to verify that I own that. And I had to do that. I logged into my domain registrar. Like if you're under GoDaddy or Namecheap, it'll give you instructions on how to add a TXT file. That'll just verify that you own this site. Uh, once you've done that, and it should only take a few minutes um, if you can get into your registrar pretty easily. But once you're in here, there's going to be this section here for sitemaps. And sitemaps are really a kind of, it's, it's a map of all the pages that are available on your website. So we're trying to tell Google, here's all my pages. Please look at them. Please rank them. And to find your sitemap, so go to your Uscreen storefront and just to the homepage. And we'll t at the very end, of it, we'll just type in sitemap dot XML. And there's going to be this big kind of like text looking file here. That's basically going to show you every single page that you've created. And if I actually look down here, like I can see those programs, starter maintenance, a good bread knife. Um, you can see a collection here and I didn't do a good job of putting a descriptive URL slug here. So to Google, they're like collection dash and it says, you know, ID number here. It's not really the best, uh, a URL slug here. So I should definitely update these, but here's the kind of the cool thing. So once you've submitted this, I just hit submit, 
I'm actually already submitted here, but just resubmitting again here. Uh, Google will actually continually scan this. So as you change these things in the admin area, as you change the titles and the slugs, Google will tell you here when they've last looked at it and then uh, update the search results accordingly. Now, again, this is an exact science. Um, you can put all the right pages in here and sometimes Google just won't show those pages. It's all up to them. They have an algorithm that they like to do. The reason why it's not public is to prevent you know, people from gaming the system as they, as they like to do in the past here. But hopefully this gives you a good overview of what you can do with SEO and kind of the best ways to set it up. And we looking, look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions.